All right, let's talk a little bit about relational database management systems. Within a database, we have multiple tables which are grouped together and relate to one another, and collectively we talk about those as the database or the schema. Then we have a relational database management system. In this case, we're going to be using MySQL Workbench as that RDBMS. And that's going to be what we use as the interface to access and to manage the relational database using SQL or using some user interface tools that are provided within the RDBMS. Using the relational database management system, administrators are able to grant access to users and they can set specific roles and permissions so that we can see who's able to access data, who has rights to read only, who has rights to actually manipulate the tables. And all of this is done through the relational database management system. Again, the one that we're going to be using is MySQL Workbench. Throughout your career, you may use other systems. The things that you learn here in MySQL Workbench like creating new tables, altering tables, setting permissions, setting constraints on tables, talking about the relationships between one table and another table. All of that stuff will be pretty similar across other relational database management systems. So the things that you learn here using Workbench are going to apply universally, and they'll be very portable no matter what SQL syntax you might use in the future.